Hi, welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Today we're going to install some really nice high speed memory into our new computer. We're going to install NVMe. We're going to use generation 4 and it is incredibly fast and it has become very cost effective. As a matter of fact, if you're considering NVMe versus SSD, the SSD cards, they're basically about the same in price based on their capacity, but the NVM NVMEs are five to 10 times faster. They fit directly onto your motherboard. They're not connected to your motherboard by an SATA cable, so they're, they're fantastic. And it's basically the newest generation of memory. Let's take a look at the steps to figure out what memory your computer uses because everyone is different. The first thing I recommend is to consider going to Bellarc. Bellarc is a program that will analyze your computer. Very safe. It gives you a complete, a complete readout of everything that's on it, including the motherboard, the memory. If all your drivers are up to date, it gives you a complete in inventory of everything. And I'd really recommend that. I'll have a link to that in the description. Let's take a look at the Bellarc analysis of this computer. So this is what the Bellarc advisor looks like and it shows you which uh, motherboard I have which is the Gigabyte B850 Gaming Wi-Fi 6 so you can see it right here now let's zoom out and I've gone to the Gigabyte website and pulled up that motherboard we can see exactly what it's made of and it will show all the slots all the things we're worrying about interested in and here they are, three M.2 slots, one for, for 5.0 generation five, two for generation four, and they fit in here. But this is the slot, full length slot for the GPU, which conceals, which covers those other ports. So we're gonna have to remove the GPU to get to the uh, slots for the, uh, for the memory for the NVMe memory but it's very easy so let's do this step by step okay the first thing we want to do is turn it off we want to shut everything down and I'm going to shut it down I'm going to turn the monitors off and we want to be sure there is no power at all to this so it's very very safe I know I've kind of got a fancy unit you know, with some glass panels but whichever one you have we need to access the motherboard so these panels come off and we can get to the motherboard. Now, you can see the motherboard is there and it's we got this huge graphics card that's that's cons that's holding every holding us back because the the slots for the uh, memory are behind it so we need to take it out. So the first thing we need to do with respect to that is take all the cords off and I have three display ports connecting to mine and then we need to basically remove this temporarily so we can get access to our slots we'll do it very carefully so I'm going to hand hold this graphics cards sometimes have a lock or a clip back here so you have to be careful to release it and also this one has a little support stand back here so you need to be sure that's put back so just be careful with this now we need to take these screws out that hold it in place but there's a lock bar some have a toolless lock bar this one requires the removal of these two screws we'll take these two screws off and take this bar off okay these are the two screws We'll just take those out and save them. Try not to drop them. And this one up here is a little more difficult, but we'll get to it. There it is. And this bar comes off, which exposes the screws that connect the, um, the GPU to the frame and to the motherboard. So we'll get those two screws out. And then we'll be very careful when we remove our GPU. 
Okay, our screws are out. You can disconnect this cable if you want to, but I, I put a towel down here. I don't think we'll need to. I'm just gonna gently remove it, which I did. Be careful, there are fans underneath it. Three fans or many fans, and we'll just put set this aside. Now, let's zoom in. Now we can see the slots for the memory. This is, this is a fancy one. This is the one I had installed with it. It's a Gen 5. It's got its own little cooling fan and enclosure. But this is where the other two go. And see, they directly connect to the, to the motherboard, which is fantastic. And this one has a fancy little clip. This one requires a screw. So we're going to use the, the one with the little locking, locking tab which makes it super easy to put this in. These go in at about 30 degrees. This is the one that I purchased, the Crucial. They've been good for me. The, the brand is very good. I got it on Amazon. I'll give a link to it. There are four terabytes of memory in this little thing. It's just amazing. It blows me away. It's got a, a little heat sink in the back here. So. We're going to put it in. It only goes in one way. So, so we're going to put it in. It only goes in one way. Look, see the, see the notch here and the notch here? That should line up. And there it is. Okay, I got my headlight on. We're just going to line it up with the screw. Turn the little lever. Let it go back. That's it. It's in there. It's fantastic. Otherwise, we need to put a screw in for the, for the next one if I decide to put another one. So, But I've got two plus four, six terabytes. That should be enough. Now, let's put our graphics card back in carefully. And it should snap. It should just, ah, just like that. Lock in. Then over here on the side, we can't see it, but we'll, we'll put the screws back in and put the locking bar back in place. Okay, so those are the two screws there for the graphics card and then the locking plate. And then we're gonna put in, put back in the display port connections. All right, I've rebooted the computer and now we're going to format and install our drive. So we go down here to search and I put in settings and settings comes up here and then I want to type in here find a setting disk D-I-S-K management and underneath it create and format hard disk partition that's what we want to do so now this came up and this is our new disk disk zero and we must initialize it before we can access it so there it is checked it's not it's not a master boot record we're going to leave it at GPT and we're going to click OK then this window came up And you can see it's in black. This is disk zero. This is, this is the one and only disk we currently have. So I'm going to click right click on it and I'm going to make a new simple volume and then walk through this wizard that will help me set it up, format it, and then assign a letter to it. Click next. The total disk space is 3815430 megabytes, 3.8 terabytes basically. And I, want, I don't want to partition this, this drive. I want it all in one. So I, I want to be sure that this number and this number are the same. So I'm going to say yes, OK, next. And then we can call it something. We can call it a, a letter. Um, C is typically the first drive. D would be the next drive, I suppose, which I'm fine with. We'll call it D. And then we can actually, we're going to format it. And quick format is perfectly fine. We can, we can label it something. I'm going to call it 
four terabyte drive and click next and finish boom so there it is it's empty as you would expect and now it shows up in blue and when we click on my computer or this computer it shows both of those drives C drive and D drive so hey thanks for watching that's how we install our our new uh, Gen 4 NVMe drive, uh, our new hard drive, right on the motherboard. Way faster, five to 10 times faster than SSD. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get an SSD. I'd get one or two of these, depending on how many your motherboard can accept. So hey, if this was useful, please click thumbs up. Happy computing.